Okay, here we have the winners of the J Art contest, and we are going to be sticking them in this bag right here, and then we will be sending it down with the camera uh, to a, a depth of about 1,650 meters. Let's start with Lisa and I are packing the sculptures in a laundry bag that will allow the water to flow through. At 1,650 meters, the cups will be feeling pressure of nearly three quarters of a ton per square inch. That pressure is equal in all directions and it will force the air out of the cells in the styrofoam. The bags are secured tightly to the VIT, which is the carriage that houses the underwater camera. Notice how full the bags are before they go down so that you can see the difference when they come back up. The DIT is dropping through the moon pool. That is the hole in the center of the ship. It's about 20 feet wide and it's used to roll in a drill string. Paul will control the height of the VIT. He is in constant communication with the driller and the DP person who is controlling the thrusters and keeping the ship in position. Notice in the upper right corner the, sc the screen that will sh let you see what the camera is doing as the drill string meets the re-entry cup. Five hours later, the VIT returns to the surface. Notice the difference in how full the bags appear. We didn't lose anything but the air inside the foam. Notice the white bag on the carriage. This is filled with cups from a class in Portugal and we'll be looking at the difference in size for those cups from their original size later on. Once the bags are detached from the VIT, we'll be taking them into the core lab. J art sculptures are on their way. See okay, how the so winners fared. <laughs> we have our head. The styrofoam heads started out about the size of a human head. Where's the other head? Both of them shrunk. However, you'll notice that they didn't get to be the same size in the end. That's because different kinds of styrofoam shrink differently. They have different amounts of air built into them. Some of the sculptures used glue to keep oh, them together. Right. And as the sculptures were shrinking, it was more pressure than the bonds of the glue could the stand, the and they oh broke no. apart. A lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a uh, little bit yeah, but I'm not sure what goes to what. A little bit smushed. Here's the rest of our work. Oh, let's see what this is. This is very heavy. Some of the sculptures used open cell foam, and the open cell foam allowed a lot of water to get in there. <laughs> At once, something like this, pretty well. And uh, if you look at the cup. Lisa's showing the difference between the original cup and what the cup looks like after a few hours under pressure. It came out nicely. What a nice little concept. It's too bad. I actually like it that way. Yeah, what I like is that it's holding water just like it's supposed to. <laughs> it's kind of yeah, that's for, it's for plants, for right? For 
And this one too, I think is a support. Congratulations to all of the J Art Sculpture winners. Your art made for a beautiful illustration of art under pressure. <laughs>